Okay, I'm gonna try to race you. Oh my gosh, it's going down. <laughs> Welcome to a new vlog. We are just waiting for our train here in Venice to head off to Florence. It's a two-hour train that leaves in a little less than an hour. So we decided to stop in for a quick bite here at the train station. Getting another pasta. I've been on a strict pasta diet for the past how many meals? <laughs> a lot. <laughs> it just sounds so good every time, so it's hard to choose anything else. <laughs> but I got an Aperol Spritz delicious and we're just waiting now to head over to Florence. Cagliatelle alla Bolognese looks so good. All right we have officially made it to our Airbnb in Florence and our views are insane. Um, I'll have to show you guys the next time that we go out on our balcony. It's like unreal but we're just about to run out to the supermarket just to pick up like some wine some bottles of water stuff like that um and then we're gonna come back here and like game plan for the rest of the day it's already let's see almost five o'clock so we'll just be doing a few things tonight and then we have two full days here so that's when the real adventure will begin even just the view from my bedroom window is so pretty i love it look at how different these avocados look these are from peru these are like sort of what we're used to seeing, but it's very strange. <laughs> Our walk home is super casual. This is totally fine. <laughs> okay, check out the view from our Airbnb. I have to show you guys tomorrow as well because I feel like you can't. It's like a little dark. Right over here, the Duomo. Amazing, this is so insane. My goodness, so we brought some wine and cheese up here that we picked up from the grocery store. Let's get cheesy. Cheese and cheese. Ah <laughs> uh, yes, the sun's coming back. So beautiful. We've made it out to dinner now and we are at this place, it's called Yellow Bar, that was actually recommended to us by um, the person who owns our Airbnb, but I also got a DM from someone about it who said that the food is just really good, really fresh, so I'm super excited. Um, they have a little room off to the side where you can see them making the pasta and they make it by order, so as soon as you order it, they make the pasta and cook it, so it's like, like crazy fresh, not just like fresh that day, like fresh that 30 minutes. <laughs> This is my first meal since we've been in Italy that isn't pasta. <laughs> I've had pasta every day for a long time now. Um, so I decided to switch it up and go in for some mussels. A few people had it on their table, it looked so good. So very excited about that. Spicy mussels have arrived. I already tried one, it's so good. Oh my gosh, yes. Dad got a pasta dish, so he has the fresh pasta on there, which also looks amazing. So, so good. Decided to go for some gelato for the end of dinner. Dad got a mousse with some vanilla ice cream on top. Gelato. Gelato. <laughs> okay, we just finished dinner, and also just realized that there's no Wi-Fi here, and we don't really know exactly how to get home because it's our first night here. Um, so we're going to have to try to find our way without a map because we can't both directions on our phones. I don't. I actually don't really know. I guess we're just gonna try to remember. They have Wi-Fi, but it doesn't work. Yeah, their Wi-Fi is out tonight, so. We'll be fine. We'll see. <laughs> we'll find our way. Uh, I think like. We're gonna try to look for the Duomo probably if we can see it because we're so close to there. But we went in sort of an opposite direction than we went out originally and like, I don't know, I feel like it's gonna be weird. So we'll see how this goes. We walked and found the Duomo, so we must be close. <laughs> when we first came out, um, mom and I both knew that we had to go to the right and dad was like, oh, I definitely would have been lost because I thought we were going to the left. <laughs> So good, <laughs> but I think we're figuring we're figuring it out. Probably somewhere still, we're here. still a little lost. It's somewhere around here. It's fine. <laughs> still just wandering. <laughs> we found our way. <laughs> it's a little bit of trial and error, but we found it. <laughs> Hooray! Let's see if I'm right about this. It plays music out of the horn. That. <laughs> 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 that's 
massive speaker. Uh, any mobile, any mobile phone. phone. Right, I started reading this and I was like, wait, this is a speaker. So cool. <laughs> <laughs> this is from this Etsy shop, yeah. handmade by Fabio. Good morning everyone, it's the next day and we are currently heading out because first thing this morning, we have a tour of the Duomo, um, where we get to go all the way up to the top. So we're just walking over, I mean it's literally like a block away from where we are, we just have to find the line that we have to be in, um, and we will make our way. But I am so excited, this is going to be so cool, and it should be a freaking amazing view from up there. We are climbing up and up and up and up. <laughs> this view is so pretty. My gosh. I know, isn't that gorgeous? How insane is that? It all looks so small. We were just right there. <laughs> we came all the way up here. <laughs> we finally made it. That's so cute. <laughs> wow. We made it all the way to the top. We are so high up, it's insane. I wish I knew where our um, Airbnb was so I could see. I think we're this way somewhere. This is so wild though. I've never seen anything like this. We're walking around here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I just can't believe this. Wow. Okay, we are back down from the top of the dome there. Amazing views. That was so cool. So worth all of the steps up. <laughs> um, and we just popped into a cafe that was right across. It's called Art Cafe. It's so cute in here. Anyway, we're just here. I wanted to grab a coffee quickly. Um, and also, we need a bed about how many stairs we just walked up. Dad, do you want to guess? How many stairs? We walked up. 2,000? I guess 500. I think that's too low. Should I change my guess? <laughs> How many stairs in the Duomo? 463. Is that it? Yeah. 21 flights? 74. I only got 19 flights. Oh, uh, well, I did some stairs this morning. Yeah, there you go. Oh, I got 18. I won the bet. What do I win? A free you trip win to a free Europe? trip to Europe. <laughs> <laughs> got my latte. Look at how beautiful that is. Looks so good. We got some little goodies just to hold us over to lunch. Dessert before a meal again. <laughs> Lunch time. I got a lasagna. Parents got pasta. And we are sitting out in this square here with all these statues. There's a fake David statue over there. Really beautiful. Lunch ended up being delicious. My lasagna had like uh, homemade noodles and obviously sauce and stuff. So good. And then we went and saw a bunch of the statues that were in the square that we were eating which was also very cool. And now we are at a church called Santa Croce. And um, Dad is just looking to see if there's a cost to get inside, but I think we're going to go in either way and check it out. My parents have been here before, but I haven't, so yeah, we're gonna go see it. Okay, we made it inside, and Dad just told me that each one of these things are crips. So this guy is right in there. Scary. <laughs> Don't like that. <laughs> This is a husband and wife buried here. It's sort of creepy, right? I wouldn't want to come to church here. <laughs> this one says Leonardo da Vinci. I don't know, it still sort of freaks me out. <laughs> this, this I think says it's for a quarter century of his death. So I oh, think to like memorialize? There. I think he's got it. Okay, so this is where Michelangelo is buried, like right in there. I mean, it's very cool, but also just a little creepy. <laughs> Is that uncultured of me? I don't know. It seems very pretty though, suited for him. All right guys, it is a few hours later. Um, once we were done exploring, we headed back home because we're all pretty tired. We have been all over the place today. We walked a lot already, plus like climbing up to the top of the Duomo is like a whole thing in itself. Automatic door. <laughs> Yeah, so we just came home relaxed. I had some work to take care of. I had to make a call and um, get to some emails and stuff, so I took care of that. We are heading out to dinner now. I feel like everything I've shown has been food, but I don't mind. <laughs> okay, 
appetizers came, we got this salmon with um, yogurt, horseradish, and on this yummy bread here. By the way, the bread that they're serving us, she made fresh at home and is so delicious. And then we got this burrata dish as well. Looks so good. Dinner came. This is literally just, or not spaghetti, I guess. Uh, tagliatelle. Yeah, thank you. Tagliatelle oh, and truffle. I mean like, oh my god, that looks so good. Creme brulee for dessert. And some chocolate cake with homemade caramel. Also amazing, so amazing the camera won't focus. There we go. <laughs> we popped into this place with live music. Okay, I'm gonna try to race you. Wait, give me give me a five count. Alright. Or just this this flight. Alright, go ahead. Advance. Yeah, we're gonna try. It'll be funny. Come on. Ready? Yeah. Okay. No, let me have one. Let me have one. Okay. Four, five. Okay, go. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's going down. <laughs> I won. <laughs> My camera died. <laughs> but I won. And I'm tired. <sighs> Good morning, everyone. It is. Where can I put you down so that I can. Nope, that's not gonna work. It's the next day, and it is cold and rainy out today. Lovely. So I have a cute little outfit on here. But um, I'm going to put my sweatshirt on for <laughs> while we're going out and about because I want to be comfortable, obviously. Comfort is quite literally always my number one concern. I like to look cute too, but I want to be comfortable. I was gonna wear this hat with this outfit, but am I gonna look dumb with like a sweatshirt and a hat on? Oh well. <laughs> yeah, so I am just about to head over. My parents went out on their own today because they wanted to do a few things that I wasn't as interested in. So I just said, I'll sleep in, have a nice relaxing morning and catch up with you guys for lunch. So that's exactly what I did. It was wonderful. And now they're finished and um, they're at that same cafe that we went to yesterday because the food there looked amazing. So we were all like, we have to go back and try it. I think today we're checking out the leather market and we're also going to a museum. Okay, I got a rice bowl for lunch. We are back at this Kaleo Art Cafe. Got another coffee, um, and this looks so good, so very excited to eat up. It is really raining out there, so we'll see how this walk goes. <laughs> Phew, it is raining out there, <laughs> but we made it to the museum, and ooh, bless you. Um, and now we are just going to, I think, spend a lot of time here because on rainy days, museums are the perfect thing to do. So these are all incomplete Michelangelo sculptures. They're sort of all over the room here, all leading up to the David there. Okay, it's like pouring rain again, <laughs> but we're coming up to the leather market. We will see the leather market rain or shine. <laughs> We stopped for a glass of wine because it was pouring outside and then it finally stopped so we were just about to head out and now it's pouring again. So we're just gonna do what we can do because it's just the way the weather's gonna be today. Alright, we walked around the leather market for a little while. Nothing really stuck out to us as like wanting it really badly, but now we're going into the giant food market here. It's sort of like the Grand Central Market of Florence. So we're gonna walk around and see if we spot anything yummy. So I decided to get a quick snack. Just some sushi. Um, we literally saw him making it, so it's like majorly fresh. It's gonna be so good. Um, mostly because I actually really do like my lunch. Um, everything my parents got was delicious, but for some reason what I got, the rice was hard, the shrimp wasn't cleaned properly. It just wasn't that good, so we have about four hours until dinner, and I just wanted like a little something to hold me over until then. So when we were walking around here, I just thought that sushi would be really light and easy and wouldn't like fill me up too much that I'm still hungry for dinner. So it just seemed like the right move. We made it back. My pants are soaking wet. My socks are wet. 
and it was a downpour while we were walking back. Let's see. Looks like it slowed down a little bit. We would go through stages where it would be just a little and then like all of a sudden crazy amount. <laughs> Let's see, how are we doing? Oh, there's the ledge. I was like, oh, no rain. Nah, it's still going. <laughs> Okay, we are at dinner now. Um, again, we just sort of hung out at home for a couple of hours, regrouped, got changed out of our wet clothes. <laughs> and now we are at this restaurant that a friend of mine recommended called uh, Trattoria Zaza. And it is so pretty in here. Tons of different colors, really cool exposed beams across the ceiling. There's tons of cool chandeliers all over. It's really pretty in here. And apparently they're known for their truffle dishes. I didn't get one because I had truffle last night for dinner, but dad did, so we'll still get to try it. First course, mom and I are sharing this vegetable soup. It's grandma's recipe apparently, so hopefully grandma's a good cook. And dad got a soup sampler with um, very thick, goopy soup, so. <laughs> Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> and dinner is served. Seafood risotto. It looks so good. And this is going to be the end of my Florence vlog because we are currently on the train heading to Rome. So thank you guys for watching. And